Messi on a breakaway. Going in, scoring! I think the biggest thing about Mike is obviously he's a good skater, he's a great puck handler, but uh, I think his biggest asset is different types of shots that he has. 500, Mike Bossy! Mike is a, is a great anticipator of the situations out there, and he gets himself in a good scoring position. Scores! Wow, Bossy! When I started in the National Hockey League, I wanted to be the best player that I could possibly be, and I've worked um, in that vein ever since I started. Islanders again on that left wing. It's Dropsey in over the line. He's working right in the ball over front. They score! Bossy, what a magnificent setup that was. For an all-time great, he could still get a little lost in the shuffle, overlooked at times. Despite being a key component of one of the greatest dynasties in NHL history. Better right in front of Bossy, scores! But ask yourself one question. Has there ever been a more pure and proficient goal scorer than Mike Bossy? Then look at the numbers and ask yourself again. And it's two on one, Trotsche with Bossy. What more can you ask? Bossy grew up in Montreal and was a prodigy from the beginning. As a five-year-old, he once scored 23 goals in a single game. Playing junior hockey in Laval, he scored 308 goals in four full seasons and took a beating every game as opposing teams and their coaches tried to neutralize his skills inside or outside the rules. It was a battle that Bossy would be forced to fight for the rest of his career. Some pro scouts discounted Bossy's scoring stats in the offense-heavy QMJHL and wondered whether he had the strength and durability to survive playing against men in an NHL that was much more predatory than it is today. That skepticism prevailed on draft day in 1977. His hometown Montreal Canadiens passed on it with their first pick. The New York Islanders held the number 15 pick and Bill Torrey never imagined Bossy would be available there. The timing was right for us. We had built a pretty solid defensive team. We had built a team that was strong up front uh, from a size standpoint, but we did lack someone who could put the puck in the net on a consistent basis. I told them if I was to play regular, I was gonna go out and get 50 goals. Once I got to training camp, uh, you know, that confidence just kept on building. At his first training camp, Bossy was matched with a gifted young center named Brian Trotche and an intimidating power forward named Clark Gillies. They became the trio grande from their inception, one of the best lines in the sport. Mark Gillies on the wing to Trotje, going for the goalie score! And that was set up beautifully by Gillies in the slot, moving it across the line, over to Trotje, then to Bossy. Gillies, centering it, Bossy scores! In his first season, Bossy broke the rookie goal-scoring record and won the Calder Trophy. In January 1981, he became the first player since Rocket Richard to score 50 goals in his first 50 games, hitting the mark in dramatic fashion, scoring twice in the final five minutes of the third period in front of an ecstatic crowd at the Nassau Coliseum. Right to Trotte, to Bossy, shoots, he scores! Mike Bossy has his 50th goal! A standing ovation, 50 for Bossy, off the bench come the entire each of his first nine seasons, Bossy scored at least 50 goals. Wayne Gretzky only managed to do it eight times in a row. The Mike Bossy, what a shooter he's turned out to be in his brief career in the NHL. His Islanders won four consecutive Stanley Cups and a remarkable 19 straight playoff series. By any measure, one of the greatest dynasties in the history of hockey. Trotje in full play with Bossy, it's a two-on-one. Even in his 10th and final season in the NHL, crippled by back injuries, Bossy scored 38 goals in 63 games. But by then, the pain was so intense that Trotje had to help him lace up his skates. I didn't want to go out and only play half the games because of my bad back. Not playing the way that I knew that I could was just discouraged me to the point where I said, I'm not going to play anymore. It's tempting to think about what might have been had Bossy been able to play out a long and healthy career. Instead, like Bobby Orr's, Mike Bossy's career was greatness abridged 
and perhaps greatness magnified. But for a few games at the end, we never saw less than his best. No one has given me more of pleasure. No one is any better. The greatest is here.